Hello and welcome to the Top Dog Tips YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us today. Today we're gonna to be talking about if and when your dogs won't open their eyes. The reasons why and what it could mean and what to do. Before we begin, please be sure to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you find our information valuable, if you find it informative, if you feel like you learned something new, please be sure to like and subscribe and share it with your friends. Also be sure to subscribe to our website, topdogtips.com. If you use the link in the description below to subscribe, you will receive a free ebook on 25 homemade dog food recipes. So without further ado, let's get into it. So over the last few days, you've noticed your dog looking at you you a little funny. It's almost like a winking, maybe a cute winking in one eye or both eyes, but today you're sure there's something different. Your dog is genuinely squinting and it is in both eyes. And you're like, well, what's going on? Is there something in their eye? He's looking at it, there's nothing wrong. Or you don't see anything that appears to be wrong right away. But anytime your dog is having a problem with their eyes, you should definitely take it seriously and consult your veterinarian. There's many potential eye problems in dogs that may or may not be serious. And your vet can help you determine that and what the under underlying cause could be. In most cases, when pet owners run into vet's office saying their dogs won't open their eyes, it's typical that the reason is they're experiencing pain in their eyes. And the reason is, is that they are experiencing pain when their eyes are open. So they're choosing to keep their eyes closed. One of the reasons of eye pain for your dog or discomfort can occur from either external or internal irritation of the eye. There can be other signs of eye pain, including pawing at the eyes or avoidance of hard foods and refusal to open their mouth. Dogs can't tell you really what they're feeling so it may not be easy to know the discomfort but they do have a certain body language some of the different causes that could be behind why your dog's squinting their eyes and it seems like they're in pain is eye infections or bacteria or injury now the first thing most owners try to do is a basic home remedy like saline to flush the eyes after that if your dog still won't open their eyes then you have to seek the help of Professional. Your dog's eyes reaction to pain is due to a high concentration of pain fibers or nerves within the cornea and conjunctiva. The highest distribution of these nerves fibers is located near the surface. So a corneal ulcer or a scratch can be extremely painful and cause a reflexive spasm of the iris inside the dog's eye. The severe pain that these types of dog eye nerve reactions can result in your dog squinting or holding their eyes completely shut. Now, if you decide to take your dog to a veterinarian to seek help. Some of the causes of eye pain that they will find more frequently, according to a source, is debris or other foreign material on the surface of the eye. Inflammation of the iris or interior uvitis may cause dog eye pain, and your vet will have to determine the direct cause of it to treat it. Dog glaucoma, which causes an elevated pressure on the inside of the eye and can feel like a pain sensation to the dog. Their instinct would be to hold their eyes closed. Trauma, external trauma, or some injury to the eye tissue or eyelids. Internal eye socket infections are excruciating and will often cause signs of mouth related issues such as refusal to open their mouth. And dry eye or KCS or keratoconjunctivitis. That can cause a dog to have a painful, gritty, dry sensation on the surface of their eye and can lead to keeping their eyes closed. I'll go through some symptoms now and I've listed a couple already, but I'll reiterate them. But this is the full list of symptoms that you might see if your dog is having eye pain or something's wrong with their eyes. Squinting or closed eyes, excessive tearing, mucus or pus-like discharge from the eyes, bloodshot or red eyes, any kind of cloudiness, bluish haze or filmy covering of the eye, any dilated, constricted or uneven pupil sizes, photophobia, which is fear of bright lights, excessive rubbing of the eyes, swelling, cherry eye or red covering of the eye or pain when opening the jaw or your dog could be hiding. So now when your dog gets to the vet or a specialist, the first thing to do is to go over your dog's complete medical history and do a thorough physical examination. This is what they'll do. Your vet will then begin to complete ophthalmic examination. Often the dog's eye exam can only be done after the vet uses a topical pain reliever to stop the squinting. And even after that, most dogs have so much anxiety about the pain, the procedures that many doctors opt to just sedate the dog to be able to do a more thorough exam of the eye. Your vet will then do several tests including a Schirmer test, a fluorescent stain of the cornea and tonometry, using magnification and examination of the eyelids and the surface of the dog's eyes completed. From there, their vet can do an additional eye examination as needed, such as an ocular ultrasound,
found. Complete blood counts are also taken if there are any other underlying conditions because eye pain in dogs can be a symptom of severe health problems. All possible conditions need to be ruled out through a thorough examination. So let's list some of these possible problems. I've mentioned a couple before, but I'm gonna go into more detail. So corneal ulcers in dogs. They're one of the most common causes of eye pain. It can be a severe condition and is often caused by trauma. They are tough to treat and some veterinary sources say it may even be impossible. Dogs rubbing their eyes on the carpet or getting a cat scratch can cause an ulcer. Veterinarians use the fluorescent stain to see the layers of the epithelium to see if there's an abrasion or ulcer in the dog's eye and how deep it is formed. Corneal ulcers in dogs are also a severe condition that requires veterinary attention right away. It's painful for the dog and your vet can help get treatment started right away. The next one is glaucoma. It's a condition that results in eye pain. Like I said before, it's a condition that causes pressure to be placed on a dog's eye, causing inner eye fluid drainage blockages. Glaucoma can become a chronic condition and it can even, if left untreated, lead to blindness. Regardless of the treatment, over 40% of all dogs who get glaucoma will go blind within a year, even if they get treatment. So when you run into the vet's office, you know, in describing this issue, they'll prescribe a treatment plan and you definitely have to follow the plan accordingly. And it definitely could include things like steroid eye drops, antibiotics, or even surgery. Well, that's going to do it for us here at Top Dog Tips. Thanks for joining us again today. If you like the information that we're putting out, if you like the content, if you find it informative, if you learned something new, please be sure to like and subscribe and share the YouTube channel. With that, I will talk to you soon. Have a great day.